Biscuits and tea. Yeah, and I was talking to somebody. <laughs> I was talking to somebody over here. They have a big issue with the fact that we don't have centers. Like downtown is downtown, right? But there's it's hard to pinpoint. You call PNL a center of Kansas yeah. City? Where's the downtown of Chicago? All right, I know downtown. Is it is it on Lakeshore Drive? Is yeah. It, you know, is it in? Yeah, we have these things called cars, so it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I said. I go. You don't understand. Like you guys have been here for like eight thousand years. Like, I don't know how long you have been here. It's two hundred years, yeah. give or take, and it's already the same size as your entire continent. Like there was nothing, so like we just spread everything out. So I don't know why you feel weird. I get it. It's different because you can in Europe you can just you can walk places. Let's bike here. I get a little annoyed looking at bikes over here because they start to think like they have the same mentality as cars over here. Where did you get? Where did you start to think you can start? And oh my god, the other day. I came out of a, a grocery store and I, you know, you put your bike right next to the, the store. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I took a bike there. Well, the sidewalk in the U S you would ride your bike on the sidewalk. Of course. Yeah, yeah. In Europe, that's absolutely forbidden. You don't sidewalks are for walking. The street is for biking. That's how it works. I was getting ready to get on. I just got on the bike. This old, this old guy walking with his, with his wife, he must've been like, he probably, was nearing 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he was walking slowly right next to me, and I was just kind of like getting the bike going, just kind of like waiting to see the cars who's who's come by and stuff like that. And he he didn't say anything. I don't know if he knew, like if he could speak to me or what. Like, but he yeah. started shaking his head and started pointing <laughs> at the street like this. He was like giving me this this nod, and I didn't respond to it at all. But I'm like I'm. I'm just, I just got on. I'm going over there. But that's how, that's how they are about it. It's that way. The bikers along the Croatian coast this past week were driving me insane. It's, it's, the it's, it's like you're driving like 60 miles per hour around these windy roads. And then all of a sudden there's this little group of bikers that are going 15, 20 miles per hour. And they just sit there and you can't pass them because it's winding every second. So if you dip in and a car comes on the opposite, so then you're just stuck between a chain of 10 cars behind these stupid bikers with a sidewalk right next to them. But they need to be right in the middle of the road. And just- How do we solve this? What do we do, what do, we do here? How do we – because this is becoming a problem in the States. It's been like this for over the 10 years or so where people started watching Tour de France and they – go to back to their Johnson County homes and they buy these freaking suits and put on yeah, their yeah. $5,000 the helmet, helmet with aerodynamic just, shit. Yeah. Right? And they're just like going down like a suburb road, like 60 miles per hour. I'm like, Oh my gosh, dude, can't you like take that out to like a, a park or, you know, like somewhere where you're actually supposed to do that. I don't uh, Yeah. I, I, we should, we need to start a campaign. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Just, what do we do to, to get them to not hold every? Do we just need to widen all the roads or what? <laughs> How, well, that's what our neighborhoods in Northern Virginia have done is in a lot of roads now, there's, there's like a little bike line in the road too. And then the lanes for the cars, which works out pretty well if you're in somewhere where they have them. Because but- England, England had it, especially in a – what was that place that Knox took us um, after Blackpool? Uh, Cl- Claude. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Claude Van Dam. No, no, yeah. Uh, no, at, uh, I don't remember the name. Fulton. Fulton. Fulton the Fold. Fulton the Filed. Yeah, Fulton the Filed. Yeah. Like there, they had the bike lane, you know? Yeah. 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 We don't have that here. Well, how many people are going to have to get ran over in America before we're like, eh? Maybe we should build a bike lane, you know, like how many, how many people are run over a year? Death, yeah, many, death or bikers? just accidents. I think we should go accidents. There's probably quite a bit of, I mean, I don't, cause I don't know how many deaths there would be, how many biking deaths, but biking accidents. I think there's probably in one year, 25,000. Uh, it's deaths. It's deaths. Um, in 2018, how many deaths were in 2018? biking deaths. Are you sure this isn't this isn't motorcycles also counting as bikers? Bicyclists. Bikes are oh, perfect. There can't have been that many. 3,500. Okay, what do you say, Will? Uh, 3,500. That seems like too many. 
I'm going to go deaths. There's 200. Yeah, straight up killed in a traffic crash on a bicycle. A vehicle and a bike. If it's more than that, I'm troubled. Like, I feel bad. I hope it's less, but I, some of my gut is telling me that it's more. So I want to say that it's like 1,500, but I feel like it's like 5,000. Yeah, you're, you're on the right uh, thought. So it's uh, 857 people were killed in 2018 on bicycle uh, rides. So I would expect – I expect it to be quite a bit more to be honest. More than nearly 1,000. I would have thought that it would be like closer to like two and a half because – um, you know, I don't know. It's just big cities. Everyone's doing that. And it's, I feel like it's so easy just to run over someone. Like, I think, I think that's part of the reason. I've had accidents. It's a crazy amount of accidents. But in big cities, usually cars aren't going that fast. I'm sure they get hit all the time, but you don't die from I it. I wonder how many just accidents oh. there are. Oh, my God. You guys. Yeah, that's why I just looked it up. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. Tell me the car accident deaths per year worldwide. Worldwide? Worldwide? Worldwide. Well, if you think about how big insurance companies are, um, how many people are in the world? I think we're, we're, we must be, yeah, we must be, we must be closing in on 8 billion by now. There's 8 billion people on earth? <laughs> I think so. Oh my God. What? We are 7.8 billion people. No wonder we have so many problems, dude. Anytime you have that many people trying to solve a problem, dude, it's too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, 7.8 billion March. March this pandemic, dude, Mother of Nature was like, hey, too many people. <laughs> it didn't get that many. I mean, can you imagine the Black Plague type thing coming through and just like wiping off? I don't know how many people died in that. If, if you guys had to, if we had to thin the herd to. Say what we want to put it to six billion. Say you want to get to six billion, and you just had to choose a category of people <laughs> that would just vanish. Okay. You had to Hold choose on. categories. Hold on. Whoa. Just, let's go into that. Whoa. <laughs> let's go into that. Let's go into that. But first, tell me how many people died per year in the car accidents in the world. I want like thirty million. Thirty million. So worldwide, I'm gonna for accidents or deaths. It says. Car accident deaths. Okay. I would say that there was per year, I would say there's cigarettes kill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, okay, I calculate that. Cigarettes kill. Carry the two. Yeah, carry the two. You you have have heart attacks. Minus, yeah, minus lung cancer divided by Carrie Will Smith, power two. Okay, I think it's... Uh, I think it's 45 million people died worldwide. 1.35 million. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a bad guess. Yeah, that's a bad guess. Yeah, I, because it's hard because with all these numbers, this is like we talked about this in the, one of the very first podcasts. With all these numbers, it don't mean anything. It's hard for me to conceptualize 1 in 30 million because I don't know when we start dealing with issues. You know, when you find out that cigarettes kill this many people – and uh, we're okay with it. Like we're just we're just okay with that. So we're okay with that number. We're all okay. all right. Well, so and then this many people died, and then we're not okay with that. It's really weird how we decide what's important and what's not important. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense that like okay, so per year, four hundred eighty thousand people die in the U.S. alone from cigarette smoking, and then we have worldwide we have one point whatever people dying in car accidents, which one is more harmful? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. What were you going to say? The, the, the cigarettes is definitely, but yeah, I mean, I, uh, it's going to be weird too, because also we're talking about 1.35 deaths per year. Our good old friend who we seem to, who, who's like a, we're, uh, he's going to have to come on the podcast, but Tesla's trying to solve that for us. Right. We're going to have some automated, you know, cars that's going to, drastically take down car deaths, at least in the US and then in most of the Western world. And then as it trickles throughout the rest of the world and it becomes standard, it's going to be nearly as much as people die on trains, maybe, you know, which is very, very minimal compared to 
everybody just swerving around, smoking cigarettes and other shit, dying, you know? So...